Woolly hair like the pure wool. Like our beautiful children have woolly hair. Our beautiful sisters have woolly hair. We have to stop hiding our beauty. We have to stop hiding our beauty and accepting the, the fake beauty of the other nations. Our people walking around with yellow hair, blonde hair, read. In ancient Rome, blonde hair was initially considered to be a symbol of a prostitute. Blonde hair is a symbol of a prostitute. Yellow hair is a symbol of a prostitute, sister. So when you go home, what are you going to do? It's fake, right? But you what? You're walking around with that style, that fashion. And you see where it comes from? Do you understand the origin of it? We're teaching our people, what? That these customs of the other nations are vain. The styles of the other nations are lies. We got to stop teaching our children lies. Says, I want you to listen up again, all right? Because the brother ran through it. I want, I want, we want to go through it slow. Read it again. In ancient Rome. In ancient Rome. Sis, where's Rome? Sis. Sis. Huh? It's in Europe, all right? Rome, the Romans were Europeans. White people, okay? Read. Blonde hair was initially considered to be a symbol of a prostitute. Blonde hair, yellow hair, was considered a symbol of a prostitute. Sis, you have three beautiful children. I know you're not a prostitute, right? So, you should not be doing this, okay? Because why? Read, read it again. Blonde hair was initially considered to be a symbol of a prostitute. And these women were required to bleach their hair blonde or to wear blonde wigs. Prostitutes were required to bleach their hair blonde or to wear a blonde wig. Why? So that people may know that they were prostitutes. Okay? But now, our women, they do it as fashion. Why? Because they follow Rome. They follow European fashion styles. You understand? Bring it out! We should not be doing this, sis. Let me ask you a question. If you see a white woman in an afro or braids, what would you think? Huh? Say it, say it again. She what? She, why not? Because she's not black. So shouldn't she be saying the same thing to you with your blonde hair? You're not white. You're not a prostitute. You understand, sis? You should not be doing that. Teach. We should not be teaching an evil lesson to our children, to our community. You understand, sis? Your hair is beautiful as it is. All right? You have beautiful woolly hair like God, like Christ. You understand, sis? You got to let that show. You got to let your light shine. You got to let your beauty shine. You understand? Give me the, the image of Christ in the, in the scriptures so that our people may see themselves in the scriptures Bring and stop following the customs and the fashion of the other nations. Right. Read. No. Give me Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Sis. Okay, listen up. Watch this. Listen. The book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is God. Why is he called the Ancient of Days? Because he has no beginning and no ending. Right. Read. Right. Whose garment was white as snow. He had a garment white as snow. So God has a body. He is not a puff of smoke. He is not a ghost. He is a man. Read. Right. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. The white. Like the pure wool. The hair of his head like the pure wool. Right. The pure wool is an Afro style. Woolly hair like the pure wool. Like our beautiful children have woolly hair. Our beautiful sisters have woolly hair. Right. We have to stop hiding our beauty. Right. We have to stop hiding our beauty and accepting the, the fake beauty of the other nations. Right. All right? Read that article again. I want to read it again. You got it? Read it again. Watch this so our people can understand. 
Our people walking around with yellow hair, right. blonde hair, read. In ancient Rome, blonde hair was initially considered to be a symbol of a prostitute. Blonde hair is a symbol of a prostitute. Yellow hair is a symbol of a prostitute, sister. So when you go home, what are you gonna do? It's fake, right? But you're right. You're walking around with that style, that fashion. And you see where it comes from? Do you understand the origin of it? We're teaching our people, what? That these customs of the other nations are vain. The styles of the other nations are lies. We got to stop teaching our children lies. All right? Read. And these women were required to bleach their hair blonde or wear blonde wigs. Because that's how they differentiated a, a, a modest woman from a whore, from a prostitute, all right? But what? We have to be teaching our children correctly. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it out! Bring it out! This is what we must be teaching our children. Not Halloween, not Thanksgiving, right. not Christmas, right. Right. not New Year's, right. none of those customs. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Teach them diligently unto thy children. Teach your children what? Read. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. We must be teaching our children the laws. The laws of God. The customs of the Israelites. That's who you are, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yes. You are the Israelites. Read. And when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, when thou walkest by the way, when you're in the neighborhoods, when you're home, when you're about to go to sleep, throw up the prayers, when you're teaching your children, you must be teaching your children the laws, the laws, the laws, not Halloween, right. not Christmas, not Thanksgiving, God's laws, read. And when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand. Thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand. This Bible, you're supposed to bind this Bible for a sign upon the hand. Read. And they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Frontlets between the eyes, meaning in your brain, in your mind. Right. These laws of God is supposed to be in our minds. Right, right. Not Halloween. Why do we celebrate Halloween? Because we don't know that we're the Israelites. Right, right. We don't know that God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to keep. That's right. He gave us our own customs that you find in Leviticus 23. You understand? Right. Up, we're in the middle of a pandemic. COVID-19. All right? Our brothers and sisters being killed. Breonna Taylor. Eric Garner. Who else? George Floyd. George Floyd. All these people. Who? Blake. Jake Blake. Take a break. All our brothers and sisters being killed. So why, what are we celebrating? What is there to be celebrating? Right, yes, We're in right. the midst of war. All right? We're in a revolutionary time period, a great awakening. Give me uh, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. All right? Because our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And when you, when you, when you lack knowledge, that's when you follow the customs of the other people. Read. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. Sis, I hope you're going home to take those costumes off. Stop following Halloween. All right, it's a wicked custom. It's the day of the dead. The dead. The dead. Read. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. When you wander out of the way of understanding, read. So remain. In the congregation of the dead. You're going to remain in the congregation of the dead. In the assembly. In the gathering of the dead. God calls people celebrating Halloween the congregation of the dead. You understand? When you wander out of the way of understanding, out of the customs of God, the knowledge of God, you're in the congregation of the dead. Right. So we have to wake our people up to their true nationality, to the true understanding of what they must do, all right? Their true customs. Sis, sis, you have a question? Do you have a question? No? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Who are you according to the Bible? Say it again. Say it again. I read the Bible as well. So what is your nationality? You're Puerto 
Rican. Where do you find Puerto Rican in the Bible? Bring it out. You don't find Puerto Rico in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. Your true nationality is Israel, right. from the tribe of Ephraim. Right. Ephraim. Right. You understand? That's why many of our so-called Puerto Ricans, they named their children Ephraim. They named their children Jose, Hosea. Why? Because spiritually we know who we are. But carnally, through the flesh, we call ourselves Puerto Rican. Give me Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. You don't do what? What don't you do? No. Yeah. A lot of our people, they name our ch their children Jose, Hosea. Why? Because I'm Puerto Rican as well, but I'm the Ephraimites, that's an Ephraimite name. You understand? It says, watch this, read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. God told Jeremiah, thou, even thou self, shalt discontinue from your heritage. You so-called Puerto Ricans have discontinued from your heritage. You call yourself Boricua and you think you're saying something. Boricua is a Hebrew word. It means brave. Borinca means land of the brave. You understand? It's a Hebrew word. Why is it a Hebrew word? Because you're the real Jews. The Israelites. God's chosen people. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from that heritage. But we have discontinued from our heritage. What does it mean to discontinue? To forget who you are. We have forgotten who we are. I see us. Now we celebrate a white Jesus. We put the Jesus piece and we think we're doing something. But what? The Bible says Christ is a black man. The Israelites are black. The real Jews are black. You so-called Hispanics, you black people, you are the real Jews according to God. Jews, the Jews of God. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. He will cause you to what? To serve thine enemies. We have we are serving our enemies. All right. When you go to Puerto Rico, there's hardly any Puerto Ricans in, in Puerto Rico right now. They all come to New York. They all come to Florida. They come to Chicago. Why? Because there's nothing in Puerto Rico for us. It is a colony of America, of the United States. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. To serve your enemies. Your enemies. The so-called white man is our enemies. Right, right. That's what you have to understand. We are here to serve our enemies. Why are we here serving our enemies? Because we broke God's laws. Right. We broke God's laws. Right. We wanted to be like the other nations. Yes. That's why we vote for a white man to be over us. Right. We vote. We vote not for change. Because you want to stay selling drugs. You want to stay smoking weed. You want to stay in the bottom. You want to stay in the hood. Right. That's what you vote for. Right. All right? But to learn your true nationality, you don't want to learn. You don't consider. Read. And the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. You have, we have kindled a fire in God's anger. We have kindled a fire. He is angry with us for breaking his commandments. That's why we're here in captivity. Look at the garbage in the streets. Look at our people. Just look at our people strung out on drugs. This is hell. This is hell. We are living in hell. This is why we have to wake up to our true nationality. Wake up to God's commandments. Our job is not to walk around in feathers, only feminine, celebrating Halloween. That's cut. That's nonsense. That's a childlike state of mind. Read Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. In case our people don't know who they are. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. What does God call us? A holy people. God calls us a holy people. Meaning special. To be holy to God means special. But if we look around, our people don't look holy. Right. Our people are strung out on drugs. Right. Are like victims of what? Gang violence, drug abuse, alcoholism, morphine, all right? Poverty, 
Cain, read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. God has what? Has chosen thee to be a special people. God has chosen us to be a special people. Special people. Right. Read. Unto himself. Above all people. Above who? All people. Above who? All people. Above all people. Right. 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 Israelites are above all people. That's right. You so-called Puerto Ricans, Hispanics, Blacks, Native Americans, you are above all people. I see us. But where are we? We're in the ghettos. We're in the slums. We're in the hoods. Why? For breaking God's commandments. I see us. You understand? This is not our lifestyle. Halloween is not a lifestyle. It is a death style. All right. Read. Holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because he were more in number than any people. So God didn't choose us because we were the most out, the more in number out of all the people. He didn't choose us for that reason. Read. For ye were the fewest of all people. We were the fewest in, of all people. Read. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers. Because he loved us and he swore an oath with our fathers. Read. Hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand? Has the Lord saved us out with a mighty hand? He's talking about the captivity in Egypt. Look at your dollar bill. It's on your dollar bill. Right. The pyramid of Egypt represents your first captivity. The eagle represents your last captivity. Right. Why? Because the eagle is the symbol of America. The eagle is the symbol of the so-called white man. That's right. The Edomites who have us in captivity. Who has the Puerto Ricans and the blacks in captivity. Right. Was that it? Give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 33. All right? Because a lot of people say that Hispanics are different from blacks. No, we're the same people right. in the same hoods. All right? And it's under the same curses. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Who? The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts is God. Read. The children of Israel and the children of Judah. The children of Israel are the northern kingdom, the Hispanics. The children of Judah are the so-called blacks, Haitians, and West Indians. They make up the southern kingdom. Read. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Were what? Oppressed together. Were oppressed together. Oppressed together. Meaning in captivity together. Right. All right, that's why you see the blacks and Hispanics in the same neighborhood. It's not a coincidence. You don't see Chinese people. You see Chinese people in our neighborhood when? When they got stores, they got pharmacies, pizza shops, grocery stores. That's when you see the Arabs in our neighborhood. Why? They come and take our money and they take it to their neighborhoods. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.